Welcome to clickmyproject.com This project is about predicting the patients with uh, CKD or non-CKD that is the patients with the chronic key disease or non-chronic key disease problem. So here chronic key disease is uh, a disease where the human uh, kidneys fail to function and, uh, and are unable to filter the blood which they should so here we have uh, used the ML techniques uh, to predict the medical analysis. So here we have used the classification models for classifying uh, the disease with uh, CKD or non-CKD status of the patient. So the classification algorithm used here are the support vector machine algorithm, Gaussian naive base algorithm, random forest. Which using these we have measured or predicted the values of uh, accuracy, recall, precision, and F measure. Using these we can uh, classify the patients who are having uh, CKD, that is the chronic key disease or non-CKD, non-chronic key disease, according to their status. So now let's look at the workflow of the chronic key disease prediction. First and foremost, we just choose the data set and from the data set we, uh, we put the data and then the next step is we perform pre-processing function that is we handle the missing data. Uh, we have replaced all the missing data with zero here and then we have performed encoding that is so uh, we have performed a label encoding here for classifying the data into two categories and then the next step is splitting and uh, splitting the data set into training and testing sets so after splitting the data the classification algorithm is performed over the data sets and here we have performed three classification algorithm that is the naive base algorithm svm algorithm that is the support vector machine algorithm and finally the random forest algorithm. Based on these classification algorithm, the performance analysis that is accuracy, precision, recall and F measure of each and every algorithm is calculated and displayed. We will now start with the running procedure of the kidney disease prediction. To begin with, I have uh, displayed all the data from the data set that is these are the data sets. I have displayed only the first 10 data from the data set uh, and then I have performed um, and then I have performed uh, pre-processing that is I have handled all the missing data if, in case if it is an integer I have replaced it with uh, replaced the missing values with a zero and in case of a string I have replaced all the missing values with an unknown integer and then I have processed it so this is the data set after replacing I have all uh, replaced all the integers NAND values with a 0 and the string with u and then I have performed label encoding label encoding to uh, class to classify the data and then I have performed the classification algorithm Firstly, I have performed the Gaussian naive base algorithm and I have uh, predicted the re its result the accuracy. Accuracy is the correctly uh, predicted data. So the accuracy of the naive base model is about 93.75 percentage and then I have calculated the precision which is the positive predicted values. It is about 94 percentage and then the recall. Uh, recall is the ratio between uh, positive and uh, negative. So it is about 96.2 and finally I have calculated the F measure. F measure is the uh, measure of accuracy test accuracy and then uh, followingly I have done the support vector machine model algorithm and I have calculated the same accuracy precision recall and F measure and then finally I have uh, I've done random forest classification algorithm and found out accuracy precision recall and F measure for this algorithm thank you